So a few days ago, Sean had oral surgery. So he's on a completely liquid diet. So what I've decided to make for him is celery soup. Um, it's a recipe that uh, goes back a little bit for us. My sister, when she was younger, had to have her jaw wired shut and my mom pureed everything. And this is one of the things that um, got made on a regular basis for my sister. And we liked it so much that we've kept the recipe. So what I've got here is uh, bacon, potatoes, celery, I've got a little bit of bay leaf over there, and I'm going to turn on the stove. I've got a Dutch oven here. I'm going to add a little bit of butter and start sauteing everything. Uh, basically it's just cooking everything down, then putting it into a, a food processor, blending it, reheating it, and you're good to go. It's a very basic recipe, so we'll just get started. So the butter is melting into that. I'm going to add a large chopped onion. Um, I've got two slices of bacon there and a potato. Uh, the potatoes and onions are actually local, which is great. I try to buy as much local as possible. I'm going to add, this is all basically a rough chop. Because you're blending it all, no need to uh, mince or get all crazy with the chopping. But I'm going to add all this to the pan with the butter. Now, let's see if I can do this one-handed. Throw it all in there. Potatoes, bacon, and onions. I got a little bit of a... That's it. Just gonna cook that down. Obviously, you're going to have to add the celery to that. I'll do it right there. And you're going to let this all cook down until it gets nice, brown, soft. So we'll give that, maybe we'll check it back in, uh, check back in five minutes. So the celery, onions, potato, and bacon are cooking away. It's been about, maybe about five minutes. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of flour. What that actually does is thicken everything up. The vegetables haven't really cooked down yet, but once we blend this, we're going to add two cups of chicken broth to the whole thing. And this is where the vegetables are really going to cook down. So you're just going to mix that flour in there. And you want the vegetables uh, to get soft. So we'll let that cook for a little bit. In the meantime, I've chopped up some parsley and thyme that I've gotten from the garden. And we're going to add, um, I've got a couple bay leaves here too. So I've got a couple bay leaves, we're going to add that to the pot, and we're going to add the parsley and the thyme. Just uh, whatever you feel you want to add. There's no real measurements here, I guess. After a while, when you've made something for so long, you kind of just wing it. So add that. I'm going to cover it and let it cook away, and we'll come back and check on it. So the vegetables have cooked and uh, you want to make sure that they're soft and it's the potatoes don't take uh, much time to get soft. It's the celery that you really need to be careful because again you're putting it in a blender so you don't want hard bits of celery scrambling around in there. So you want to make sure those veggies are soft. Um, I've got a blender here and I've got a ladle around here somewhere right here and we're just going to ladle. It's very hot. You have to be careful at this point. So ladle some of the soup into a blender. Just do little bits at a time. I don't know if I can find the top to this thing. Um, make sure the lid's on tight. You don't want it 
kind of going all over the place. I've got it on low and I'm just going to hit one. I pause here because uh, I did this one time, didn't secure the top on and hot soup went flying all over the kitchen, had it all over the ceiling, the floor. So here we go. Hold on to the top, let it blend. Give it a minute or two. There you go, stop. Should be all smooth and creamy. We're doing this in batches, so let's see if I can kind of maneuver. Apparently I can't get that off by myself. So give me one second. Okay, so I've got a bowl set aside here. So what I'm going to do is, as I do this in batches, I'm going to take what I've pureed, put it in the bowl. Back on the blender. And ladle a few more scoops here into the blender. And then we'll just keep doing that until it's done. So all the vegetables have been pureed. I put everything back into the cast iron pot and I put it back on the stove. Um, really at this point, you could just leave it as is because it is super tasty. Um, you don't have to add the bacon to this dish and you can just make it a totally vegetarian meal, but I like adding that kind of smokiness to the bacon. I've heated up some milk, um, about three cups, but you know what? You don't really need it. The, the soup is really thick and tasty on its own, but I'm just gonna probably add just maybe a little bit I actually use skim milk, I don't use cream or anything like that. But if you want to thin down the soup, you can add um, some heated milk. I think that's all we'll do. Stir that around. It just makes the soup um, a little bit lighter. We'll turn this back on. Heat it through. I've added salt and pepper to taste. And aside from that, this dish is done. I'm gonna take a little bit, I'm gonna grab a ladle here. I've got my cute little bowl with a little bird on it. We'll ladle some soup into the bowl. You can see there's like bits of celery in there. You can uh, blend it a little uh, smoother if you like. I kind of like having the bits and pieces kind of still in there so you kind of know what it is. So I'll just ladle some in there. This is, I love this soup. It's one of my favorites. Cream of celery. Mm -mm. Take it to my little bowl here. I've got some paprika that I like to sprinkle on top a little bit. There you go, voila. Cream of celery soup. 